ever since I started picking up auction items, you guys have been asking, Amanda, how do you participate in an online auction? Where do you find online auctions? How do online auctions work? Auctions are intimidating. Auctions are scary. I'm gonna give you half of what you want. We can talk more about online auctions later, but today we're actually going to an in-person auction. I've only been to one in-person auction since the pandemic, and so I am a little intimidated. I am very out of practice. This auction is about an hour away, and this is a pretty good auction from what I saw from the pictures. But I'm missing... I'm missing something. <laughs> Most important piece to this whole trip. My back. And your arms and your legs. I'm not even that strong. Yep, this is gonna be a popular one. When people have to park on the side of the road to get to the auction. So the first thing that we have to do is sign up and get our bidder number. If you're a business and you have a tax ID number, make sure that it's tax free. So we gotta do that first. So after you sign up, they're gonna give you uh, some kind of card or something with a bidder number. There's usually places to write on it if you want to make notes and then you just gotta you gotta get in the thick of it and start bidding but let's look around and see what's coming up. Everything on this property is getting auctioned off and they might have already hit back here. We're a little late. Ooh, this file cabinet's awesome. Tabletop. Wow. Okay. Building one. Oh, look at the door. I know the dress was not bad. Actually, it's in a lot better shape than I was expecting. Wow. Any mice make a nest in there? I don't. I don't mess with mice. They make me be a little girl. How about the top one? I mean, this is a nice shape. The bottom one's gonna be the kicker. Wow. This it's... is a little warped. This middle one. Yeah. Just needs to tighten that. Mm -hmm. nope. Still not bad. I'd love to put that in. I don't have enough. I'm not a candy man. Yes, you are. Well, not to have spots for all that. You're more handy than me. We everyone, can... everyone, she's actually more <laughs> no. handy than I am. That's not true. It at is. All. She figures stuff out. This looks like someone's stash. People will get their stuff and then usually put it into piles. It's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure this has already gone through. Nothing else really in here. There you go. Yeah, here is some awesome furniture. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Wow. Oh. That is a rough mount. This trunk's beautiful. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my gosh. You want to go in the house? So apparently they're auctioning the house off too. I mean, if you can get this for 150 Yeah. Definitely. Oh my gosh. Don't look at the toilet. Okay, don't look at the toilet. Decomposing. No! Do you want to? Oh, yeah, I'm going. All right, do it. Oh, it's not that bad. This is the stuff that I was most interested in was these cabinets. That one, that one, this one right here, and then this one. And Mike's just going to be a good sport. I forgot to tell you I hurt my back yesterday. Oh. Metal? Uh, 
but so cool. How heavy. Oh no. Oh, that's real too. That is crazy. I've never seen a table like this before, ever. Ooh, some ironstone in there. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys, this was a good one, and I think everybody knows it. That's you, Miss Attitude. <gasps> I just want everyone to know she made that exact face when I said that. <laughs> Not every auction is going to have a food truck or food available, but this one does. Nice Remington Express box right there. The Remington Express box. Oh, somebody give me 25 on it. $10. Let's go from here. $15, 20 25 25 30 35 45, 50, 50 your way, sir. This tray went for a really great price and it's hand painted, really beautiful. I wanted a little stool, but it came with the chippy white kitty. So that's Mike's. What? I have. You ran three feet. Really out of shape. <laughs> All right, they're about to bid the furniture. And we are going to bid. Cabinet dinner, drawer to bottom, 40 now, 45, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 160, 170, 180, 170, 180, 170, 180, 170, 180, 180, 180 190, 200, sir, 210, 220, 220, 210, 220, 210, 220, 210, 220, 210, 220, 210, 220. Two hundred and ten dollars three eight zero. Twenty five. Thirty. Thirty five. Forty. Forty five. Fifty. Fifty five. One thirty. One thirty. They're talking about it. One thirty. One thirty. One forty. One fifty. One seventy third. One eighty. One ninety. Three fifty. Three fifty. Three fifty. Three sixty. Three fifty. Three sixty. Three fifty. Three sixty. Three fifty. Three sixty. She's taking about three sixty. Three seventy. I'll give you the same now. Three seventy. 370, I got all the cabinets that I want and now they're actually about to auction off the house. The time is 12.01 uh, p.m. I'm going to give you a brief description of the real estate. 254, no here, 255, 254, I'm going to give 255, 254 once, 254 twice. We sold the real estate for 254000 So let's talk about auctions for a second and what the best strategy is when you go in and you start competing. It's really just a case of just being calm, breathing. A lot of times the auctioneer is going to do finger pointing when it's your turn to make the next bid. As soon as the auctioneer uh, starts the bid on an item, he's going to start with a number. And he's usually going to start a little higher than people want to be at. And so you just let him come down first, usually around five bucks, 10 bucks, 25 bucks. And then you raise your little card and that really starts the bidding off. Not often in these kinds of auctions, maybe at like the really fancy ones, not often do you want to start at the opening bid number. You really want it to drop down first. All metal. All right, on the all metal table, two drawers right there. How about $50 on it? Probably a Simmons. 25. 
35, 25, yep. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 300 and a quarter, 300, 3 and a quarter, 300, 3 and a quarter, 3 and a half, 480, 490, 490. I wouldn't let him do it to me. 490. 500. Even money. 500. That's even money. You came from West Virginia. 490 now 5, 490 now 5, 490 now 5. Thank you so much. We're out of money. <laughs> After you pay, all that you have to do now is pick up your items. You might have to call for reinforcement. Hey to the people. Like, hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. <laughs> Somehow we were able to make it fill up my truck and get everything on and it's ready to go. So a few tips for live auctions. One, you wanna make sure that you get that tax exempt number by getting your business license to offset the buyer's premium that they're gonna have in place. It's usually 10 to 13% depending on where you're at, what kind of auction it is. Number two, wait for the price to drop lower than the starting bid. Every now and then it just, it starts at that starting bid and it goes, but if you can wait for the price to drop. Three, you want to uh, just stay calm. And then Mike's tip is actually to go ahead and get the nerves out by bidding on something small to start off with, like a, a dollar, two dollar item. Thank you for the tip, Mike. Thank you for, <laughs> oh my God. The last tip I have is to try and bring cash or check. Usually there's an extra credit card fee. So cash or check if possible. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. More auctions to come in the future, but all this stuff will be at Luckett, so make sure that you guys come to that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe. Also hit the bell notification, that way you can be notified for whenever I post a new video. And please follow me at Amanda's Mercantile on Instagram, that way you can see anything that I do behind the scenes. We'll see you soon. Bye. Next week, I'll see them next week. You won't see me though. No, bye. Wait, no. That's not next week. No. <laughs>